Well, 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 good morning, West. It is morning, yeah. Good morning, West Ham fans. Hope you're safe and well. Let's preview the Bristol City game. <laughs> Yes, everybody, Russ and the West End Network. Hope you are all safe and well. If you're ready, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share. Give it a subscribe, all that good stuff. Obviously, we play the Magic of the Cup third round. Sunday, London Stadium, 2 p.m. kickoff. Our visitors, Bristol City. Um, and as always, as always, we try and get an opposition fan on to give us a perspective from the other side, the other side of the fence. And it will be the other side of the fence because we've got that wall, haven't we, between the away fans and the home fans. So it is pretty much other side of the wall um and so we have got ben from robbie's on tour me bring him in if i can find the right button uh there he is hello ben how are we doing man hello how are you doing yeah not too bad glad it's the weekend as as you know we said off air but yeah looking forward to sunday now <laughs> yes yes i am i hope you yeah i'm looking forward to it as well i think it's um it's a strange one we just saying beforehand you know it's it's one of those i mean you said it yourself it's one of those games where usually usually this is like a real giant killing you don't know you know you can sort of predict how a game's gonna go but i don't know what's gonna happen on sunday i ain't got a neither. clue neither i mean it's one of those games and obviously you know we're coming off you know we having a new manager for you know a month or so um obviously you guys have hit a bit of form heading into you know the new year and you know yeah i just said magic of the cup it, it should be a good one it should be a good one. And I think we'd uh, I think there'll be a good good atmosphere. I think it's a near near sellout as well. Um I think we've actually priced it decently for once, the club has. And so I think we should get a good good uh, a good a good attendance on both sides. And it's always, you know, it's, it's an away day, and it? it's it's your trip trip up London for you guys, isn't it? Yeah. It's only it's only a, yeah, it's only a quick get into Paddington, go to Paddington and then straight on the Elizabeth line all the way up to Stratford. Job done. Easy. Yeah. It's it. I mean, I think with the championship this season, there's only been two London away games, and we had them both early on, being obviously, you know, your rivals Millwall and QPR. So, you know, it's it's good to get another one, and you know, one of those close ones because Bristol's, you know, one of those clubs where I mean, our closest away game is still an hour away. So yeah. it's nice to have a fairly close one in the cup, and then I think we've got Preston and Middlesbrough over the next couple of weeks. So glad to glad to keep it local. Jesus, sort of. Jesus. Wow, yeah, that's a bit of a bit of a trek up to uh, up to Middlesbrough and stuff like that as well, isn't it? It's not, and, it's, and nine times yeah. out of ten they're like on like a Tuesday night as well or something awful. Oh, so I mean, we're lucky. We our Tuesday games have been Southampton, which obviously, and then I think we had Blackburn and Ipswich. So it's not great, but you know, it could be worse. Yeah, they put them all bloody time. It's like this FA Cup. It's like they've spread this FA Cup third round across like four or five days, haven't they? Because it was like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and there's Sunday games as well. And it's ridiculous, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a strange game, I think, because we obviously we we didn't have a great run against Brighton the other day. Um, we were pretty much down to our bare bones. It seemed we had a few players out. Um, and after today, after Sunday, we've got a two gap, a two week gap. Um, until our next game. So I don't know what Moyes is going to do. I don't know whether he's going to go balls out and go for it. I don't know whether he's going to play the kids. I don't know whether he's going to play the squad players. I just don't know what he's going to do. From from obviously your your perspective, he's a change of manager recently, but a, a decent season so far, 11th currently in the championship. Yeah. Yeah, no, it has been a decent season. I think, you know, a couple of games ago we were, a point off the playoffs. I think we're only four points off the playoffs now. And I think the thing with the championship this season is it's so close um, that, you know, a couple of wins, I, I think we went on maybe three or four, uh, you know, win runner games and we went from, you know, 12th, 13th up to 7th, I think it was. So it's so close. And the FA Cup has come at a sort of time where I think a change from the league might be good. You know, we've had the new manager for a month or so now. We hit some really good form. Um, and on Boxing Day, we went over to Watford, won 4-1, probably one of our best away performances in a couple of years. And then the next two, uh, we drew 0-0 away at Birmingham and lost in the last minute at home to Millwall. And I think if we got, you know, wins out of them two games, we would have been up in the playoffs. Mm. So I think I'm glad, you know, the FA Cup's come at a point now where 
we might be able to push on because as much as I'd like to say we've still got a chance for playoffs, I think we've dropped too many points this season so far. You know, games we should be winning or drawing, you know, conceding the last minute and, you know, the last game at home to Mill or New Year's Day was a prime example of that. So I feel like this season might be a push, you know, hope for playoffs. So I'd like to see us go on a cup run and obviously that will that will start with hopefully a win at the London Stadium on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Top of our game because you know it's not be easy. It, it's no, I, I, I don't. I, you know, I, I'm not taking it lightly at all. As well, I think you know, it's always. I think we had. I think Billy McKinley, the assistant manager, was doing the um, press conference ahead of the game, and he was saying, you know, we've plenty of times we're up against championship sides, and you know they've. I mean, I remember, I remember beating beating Man Man City in the Carroll Cup, having them not lost five years in a row or something ridiculous like that. And then losing to Blackburn on penalties the following round, and it's like, you know, it, it happens where we seem to sort of. I, I think there's a bit sometimes a bit of disparity between what the fans want and what the club wants. You know, so we really want a cup run. You know, we, we yeah. we've we've had a taste of it. We've won some European <laughs> trophy. We want another one. You know, we're greedy, but it sometimes we see. I mean, we we lost obviously um, in the quarterfinals to Liverpool, like they absolutely <laughs> tore us a new one. Um, and it was almost like they were more hesitant because they wanted to look at the Premier League, and that was that was the sort of the focus. And I think sometimes we sort of there's a disparity between what the fans want and what the play, what the, what the actual club or the management want. And I think I hope I hope on Sunday we go for it because you know there's going to be a good crowd there, and if it's dreary, if it's shit like Brighton, it's going to be awful. Um, but it always brings a bit of something the the FA Cup. Always gets yeah. people excited. That third round, you know, draw, it gets people going, and anything's possible. Anything's possible. And uh, you, you've been a little bit active in the old transfer window. Uh, Adam Murphy's yeah. come in from St. Pat- uh, St. Patrick's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three and a half year deal, eighteen. Yeah, how have you coped with? With because obviously Alex Scott was the big one, didn't he? Le- leaving. Um, yeah, in the, in the in the summer one, and obviously he's such a good, such a integral player to you. He was like particularly last season. Um, how have you coped with with his? Obviously, he hasn't really hasn't really hit the ground running at Bournemouth just yet. He'd been no. injured and stuff like that, which must be frustrating for you because you know if you want to see a player go, I'd want to see a player do, then do well rather than particularly one of your own, so to speak. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, um, we've actually coped a lot better than I thought we would, to be honest. And we haven't spent a lot of the money, like the twenty five million. I, you know, I'd be surprised if we spent more than maybe five over the last two transfer windows. Um, but we bought in Jason Knight from Derby and Garner Hitman on loan from West Brom. And they've already been probably two of our best players so far this season. And I mean, I'll bring up that Watford away win on Boxing Day again, because that's probably the best I've seen us play. And I think that was, you know, the main part of that game. You know, our midfield was insane. Mm. Uh, we controlled we controlled the game from midfield. And I think if we're going to get anything on Sunday, I think, I think we're going to have to do that. But... Uh, yeah, I think we've coped a lot better than I think myself and a lot more fans think, you know, we would have yeah. done losing Alex Scott because obviously last season he was probably the only player, you know, that stood out in every game. And he was one of those players, you know, who, you know, if you're losing 2-1 with five minutes to go, you sort of have hope because he can sort of you know, master something else. But I mean, we've I think we've got that again with, you know, our midfield currently. Um, you know, albeit the last two have been a bit, they look a bit tired and a bit leggy. I'm hoping they have saved themselves uh, for Sunday, but yeah, we, we've coped a lot better than I thought we would. And, you know, I don't want to say we've replaced them because I think the likes of Jason Knight and Alex Scott are comp- two completely different players. Yeah, but, but Jason Knight's a good player. We, I mean, we were linked to him oh, yeah. when Derby were having all their troubles and, and yeah, a few of the Derby players we were linked to him. And um, yeah, he's a player I, I actually wouldn't mind of us. Getting obviously, I really wanted Alex Scott, and that was, there was a big talk of us getting him. And apparently, yeah. he did. We did have chats, so to speak, but he wasn't. I, I imagine probably the fact that he's seen that West Ham don't tend to bring through the academy players or the younger players as such, and um, meant Bournemouth was the right option for him. But yeah, frustrating. But yeah, hey ho, it always happens. It seems at West Ham at the moment. But yeah, I think you've, you've replaced him well. I think you know. From from your perspective, it's the midfield. It's going to be that's that's where it's going to be won. You think? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, yeah, the the midfield is going to, be, especially you know, Mark Sykes has probably been one of our best players as well. But he 
you know, got released to the fans yesterday that he's going to be out for two weeks or so. So now I think if any anything is going to come, and we are going to be able to you know, get a foot on the game and control, it is going to come from, you know, midfield. And I mean, the last two, we haven't created much at all. And like I said, we look at Watford, we look so, you know, energetic and like, we controlled the game from minute one to, you know, the 95th minute or whatever it was. We didn't stop. Um, and I think, you know, we saw that with the festive period, how quickly everything comes, you know, three games in the space of a week. And, you know, if you're going to, you're going to be that energetic and that up for it for the first game, the next two are going to be, you know, a bit less, yeah. less up for it. But I'm, I'm sort of hoping that, you know, I think we probably should have beat Millwall, but I'm sort of hoping we have just, you know, saved ourselves for, for this West Ham game. We're going to come out, you know, going to come out, hopefully score early and then, you know, we'll control the game like we did at Watford. But Yeah, you know, get the crowd, like, get well, the crowd like on said, our backs. Yeah, I mean, 9,000 City fans coming over, you know, ah, that's what mental, we need to mate. do. That's mental, isn't it? That's brilliant. And and I love the cup games. It's like, it's like I, I, I really love the European games at West Ham as well because you get like loads of different, I mean, particularly the European games, you get loads of like, different chance and they're always really up for it because they must be because they've traveled from wherever they've been you know over to london and the same as said nine thousand you're going to get a, a fantastic you know reception um and if and and that's what i like i like it when the away fans give it because then it sort of cheers up the home fans to start having to yeah and you have a really good atmosphere and you know i i really hope i really hope it's a, it's a good game you know for me it's like it, I think we, we need the trouble is looking at the fixture list. It's really weird because February, we've got more games in February at the moment than we do in March, which makes no sense at the moment. Um, cause February's a shorter week, shorter month, but obviously whoever wins on Sunday, get going to the hat and the game will be 27th, 28th of January. So it's quite quick. Yeah. Fourth, fourth round. So actually it could help us if we do get through, but I think it's gonna be a really tight game. I think it's going to be a really yeah. tight game. I'm not taking this game lightly at all. Um, as you said, you know, and there's always been a lot of players who play for both sides as well. You know, um, Nicky Maynard, uh, uh, Sam Baldock, you know, Henry Lansbury, you know, guys who have played for uh, many, many more. So um, big, big fans, friend of the channel, Henry Lansbury. Um, so um, I'm looking forward to to seeing the game. And, and I think we'll have, actually, I think, one of them, I think Marlon Harewood played for Bristol City for a little, very short amount of time as well. So, um, again, another friend of the channel. So there's, there's plenty of players who have played for both, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I, you know, I love yeah, the FA no. Cup, and I think it's gonna be a cracking game. Oh, you know, and it's probably obviously the emphasis is on West Ham to win. So if anything, Bristol City could go there with no fear, really, um, knowing full well if you go out and have a go at us the first 10 minutes, the crowd will be on West Ham's back yeah. and it'll be easier. It's, it's, it's such an easy, and you know, and you know how we're going to play because David Moyes only knows one way of playing. Um, and so it's going to be, let you have the ball and hit you on the count, trying to hit you on the counter attack. Um, yeah. And the fact that we've got the likes of Caduce not playing is a massive boost for you guys. Um, the Gerds will be, be at the AFCONs as well. Um, Zuma has had a late, we'll probably have a late fitness test. So we could have a makeshift backline, maybe, um, midfield wise. I mean, that's pretty set, but it's the forward line I'd be interested about because it could be the return from injury of Mikel Antonio, who strikes fear in many, many in opposition, more in opposition than the, than the, than the actual West Ham fan base. You know, when they say Mikel Antonio, they'll go, oh, I fucking hate playing against him, where we always find it quite amusing. But he could be back. He could be back. He could be re-energised and ready to roll. So that could be a real key battle, I think, with Mickey, um, having something to prove as well, because since he's gone, obviously, Mohamed Caduce has pretty much ripped it up in the Premier League and nominated for the Premier League man uh, Player of the Month as well, as well as Moyes, Premier Manager of the Month as well. Um, who should we be keeping an eye out for in terms of the Bristol City side? I mean, we're not doing a scout report. I'm not going to pass it on to David Moyes afterwards. But who's who's the danger man for Bristol City? Um, I think, it's like I said earlier, it's going to be that midfield. And I think if we are going to get anything out of the game, it's going to come from us controlling the midfield. So, you know, Gardner Hickman, and Jason Knight, probably. Like I said, Sykes would have been in that list, but he's going to be out. So I expect it'll probably be Mimetti on one side and then either Sam Bell or Harry Cornick on the other, which could go either way. 
but yeah, the the players to look out for will will definitely be you know in the midfield. But I mean, our defence as well. You know, Zach Viner and Rob Dickey have been quality this season, um, and they won't be afraid to you know bring the ball forward and you know try and you know play that sort of football we've seen modern day sort of style football. You know, you're going to play out from the back into the midfield and then either out to the wings or 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 you know straight up to the strikers. And you know, yeah. I doubt that you're going to see us you know play many long balls. One reason you know. It's not how Manning wants to play. The second reason, you know, there'll be no one on the end of it to to win the ball from a from a long ball anyway. But um, like like you said, I think it is going to be close, and I really think it could go either way. I think if you guys do go on to win, I think you know I won't be surprised. But two or three past us, I think if we win, it'll be you know a close two one. But you know, if you offered me you know, a one or draw take you back to our place on a midweek you know, i'll probably rip your hand off right at the moment yeah to be I, 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 i've got to check that because i don't know about what's happening with the replays or someone i don't they were i don't know if it is a replay but it goes to penalties i don't know i, um, I, I, I think that. it is replay yeah yeah third round third round replays so i'm gonna do that do, do someone's put it in as a thing if they end in a draw the third pound uh, yeah because i because didn't they didn't play it was it uh Palace Everton, wasn't it? That that went to it. Yeah. yeah, of course. That went to a new and old draw, didn't they? Yeah, it is. What am I talking about, Bun? Fucking sort yourself out, Bun. <laughs> um, yes. No, uh, yeah, it'd be it'd be good. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I, I mean I generally don't I don't I don't know what side we're gonna I'm gonna have to do a predicted eleven. I have no idea who I'm gonna put in. Um <laughs> so I don't know how can't get inside Moise's head in terms of what he's gonna do, whether Antonio plays or not. Yeah. Whether we're going to give any of the youngsters a run out as well. I mean, we've got a fantastic academy. They won the the FA Youth Cup last year, and they're top of the PL or second in the PL two. And I just don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. Don't know what we're going to do. But also, we got I'm, you know in the midst of the change 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 window as well. Yeah. So like, if if we play Granny Dings, if old Danny plays, then he'll be cup tied, and you know, so his value goes down and. Same as Aaron Cresswell and various others as well, who are linked to like Sai Ben Rama and stuff, linked to a Premier League side. So, <laughs> no idea. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm looking yeah, forward to I, it. I mean, I think it is just going to come down to which Bristol City side turns out. To be honest, if it's a team that turned up at Watford, you know, I I wouldn't be confident, but I wouldn't oh, be come surprised. On, ben, you're confident. You sound very confident. I love it. But, I mean. But if it's the if it's the team we've seen over the last week or so at Birmingham Mill, then I also won't be surprised if you put two or three past us. So, like you said, I've got no clue, and it will literally just end up what team turn up on the day. To be honest, <laughs> so to summarise, none of us have either a clue of what's going to go on, but we're looking forward to it on yeah. that bombshell. <laughs> Thank you for the last eighteen minutes. We can't to both of us put our heads together and can't with no idea. Um, so <clears throat> that's football. That's football, and that's football. Magic of the cup. It? Magic of the cup, indeed. Cup side, lo- love a cup, cup tie. Um, end to end. Um, so, what's the score going to be? Come now, your now your colours to a score. Um, I'm not I'm just going to sit on the fence. I'm just going to sit on the fence. One one. One one. One one. No. Okay. Bring it back to a replay, and we'll win two one in the replay. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 them's fighting words. There you go. Um, I'm going to go with. I still think you're going to score. I think you're going to score because actually, well, you know, because we haven't conceded, we haven't conceded for the last four games in the Premier League, but we did lose five to Liverpool in the cup, which sort of we're not quite as good as Liverpool though. Mm, no, okay, I get you that. <laughs> um, we haven't conceded against Arsenal, Man United, Br- um, Brighton. Do you know what? I'm gonna, okay, two nil, simple two nil. I'm going to say two nil, and I'm going to say. Um, it's going to be what you like at court. Rob Dickey's quite tall, isn't he? Because we were linked yeah. to him once. He's about six four, isn't he? So yeah, they're both they're, they're both big fantastic. lads. Yeah, they're big lads. All right, because obviously that's one of our areas, you know, in terms of JWP, Mavropanos, he's six four, whatever, so, or Suchek. All right, I reckon it's going to be Bowen's going to score, and we're going to say Bowen and Antonio. Antonio's going to score. I don't think he's going to start, but I think he'll score. That sounds good. That sounds good. Leave Look, Ben. Then. I um obviously if we get to a replay we'll have another chat if we don't of course I wish you all the best for the, for the season See you next season in the Premier League Sunday yeah and and hope a Premier League push that'd be amazing yeah, isn't it? hopefully ne- next few seasons give it give it a year or two yeah I, I mean we've got um there's a couple of guys that we 
who are you know sort of friends friends of the channel who live around the Bristol area. So it'd be lovely for them to go to a you know don't have to travel all the way schlep over the way to Stratford to watch West Ham. They can go and watch uh, uh, an away game down the road. It'd be nice. Hopefully that'll be a Tuesday in a week or two. Exactly. Yeah, it'd be lovely, 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 lovely. Yes, and uh, my my firm is as a as an office in Bristol. They had their office in Bristol. So I'm there quite a lot. Was that was there for Christmas, for Christmas lunch? Where do we? I can't remember where we went. I can't remember the place now. It's right in the middle of town, but it was it was near uh it was near the um the shopping centre bit. Um, oh, we, yeah. we, we we stayed at the Moxie. I stayed at the Moxie. Oh yeah, no, yeah, opposite, I know that is. opposite Gab- is it Gabbock Circus? Cabot, oh. Cabot Circus, yeah. Cabot Circus, that's fucking amazing. That place, that's so good. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually freezing. That's brilliant. Such oh, a good shopping centre and place to eat. Anyway, on that bombshell, um, we is not a tourism video for, <laughs> for Bristol. Um, as I said, go and check out, go check out Ben. Robin's on tour. We'll put a link in the description. Yeah. Match day vlogs. Lo- I yeah, love a hope, vlog. Hopefully, get a few West Ham fans on it on um Sunday. Get some of your guys' thoughts ahead of the game. If not yeah. too confident, we'll see. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a, a be a. I'm, I'm sure they'll be keen to talk to you about David Moyes. <laughs> Just oh, say that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll be keen to talk to you about David Moyes. Be Next city, see. isn't it? That's that's another one of the links. Yes. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of links. It's funny we do these opposition sort of chats all the time, and I mean, there's loads. I mean, we've had. So I was looking at, you know, the British City, and obviously a lot of people we've had on the channel. A bit before your time as well in terms of play for, for both clubs like Steve Jones who's a club ambassador he I think he finished his career at Bristol City um striker and Izzy Ikipen and um Eamon Dolan right this is going right back you know no idea these players are um for you but um yeah there's loads it's surprising how many clubs you have lots of people and obviously we when we bought yeah, we bought Nicky Maynard from you, and then I think we then we sold you Sam Baldock afterwards. So it's like you know all these weird sort of things. But no, I'm looking forward to it, man. Anyway, and, yeah, hope you have a safe one. travel. Hope you have a safe yes. travel up to the Thank London Stadium, much. up to the smoke, as my uh, my old man used to call it, going down the smoke. And um, be too busy. and yeah, well, yeah, it will be. And, and put your walking boots on because it's a bit of a trek from the station to to uh, the actual stadium. So you know, it's not just. I'm at Stratford. Great. It's going to be it's about a 20 minute walk. So there we go. That does deceive people sometimes. And um, but yeah, and you have some pie and mash while you're there as well. Yes. Um, <laughs> and until next time, take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble, everyone. Keep the faith. Come and you irons. And what is it? Is it come and you robins or what's what's your new reds? Come and you reds. reds. Of course, the red red robin goes blah blah blah. Bring along. Take care. See you later, guys. Bye bye.